Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Megan, and I will be administering today's webinar. I want to ensure we are able to get everyone logged in before we get started. If you wouldn't mind holding for another minute or two, I will let you know when we are ready to begin. Hello again. I know we are all anxious to get started. I am very excited to introduce you to our host of today's webinar, Jay Peak with Peak Financial Corporation. Well, hi everyone. I hope everybody is having a great day. We're going to get the webinar started here. Uh, you know, these are really interesting times that we're living in. Uh, some people would even say uh, crazy times. And I'm talking to you today from my home uh, here in. Uh, Plano, and I'm really excited to uh, reach out to you guys and see you all again virtually. Um, usually we do these at the library and you probably see me around town at the different restaurants doing uh, seminars and educational events. Uh, but here we are today in a whole new format. So thank you so much for joining. Uh, excited that you're here. And I wanted to talk about the environment and what's going on right now because there's so many interesting things that are happening, uh, especially to our local community, uh, small businesses around town, unfortunately are struggling they're um you know don't have customers they can't keep their employees hired and so uh we've got a special uh gift for you guys to help our community out and i'll talk about that here in a second but i want everybody to get as much as you possibly can out of this webinar and so um during the webinar uh if you have any questions just write those down and after we get off the webinar um you'll have a survey you can fill out the survey uh, ask any questions that you would like to when we have a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Now, I want to bring something to your attention that is really uh, near and dear to my heart, and that's the local businesses like we talked about. What I would like to do is everyone that stays on the webinar till the end and schedules a 15-minute consultation call, um, we're going to give a $25 gift card to. Now, this $25 gift card, I'm asking you to pay this forward. Uh, I'm asking you to use that here in our local community, uh, make sure that uh, local business owners are taken care of because uh, ultimately at the end of the day, that's the lifeblood of our community. So again, at the end of, uh, of the webinar, if you stay till the end and you schedule a 15 minute appointment, I'm gonna ask you to uh, pay the $25 forward to our local community and we'll just send that right out to you. So really excited to uh, spend some time with you and we're gonna get started here in the webinar uh, right now. So I'm Jay Peak. I hope everybody uh, is, again, having a great day, had a wonderful um, week this week. And uh, our webinar today is going to talk about things at a uh, high level, about the financial plan that we do for our clients. And I think it's really important for you to understand that um, during these times, our business is probably much different than other businesses that you've dealt with in the financial planning arena because we've talked about this moment in time for a long time. We've been planning and working with our clients uh, to make sure that they have a financial plan that's safe, secure, protected for instances just like this. And I think that there's probably a lot of people on the call today or on the webinar today that are listening to this and maybe you didn't have a plan and maybe it's hurting you and you realize that you've lost 30, 40% of your portfolio, you're not sure what's gonna happen. Is this gonna end up being a long-term deal? Uh, or maybe some of you have a plan in place already, but you're not sure that it's gonna work. Uh, or maybe you're seeing the, the plan fail in front of your face. Uh, and unfortunately, that seems to be happening with a lot of people. So um, it's almost, uh, I feel a little guilty because during this time, our clients are happy, 
uh, our business is thriving, and this is what we've planned on doing for ever for the last 14 years that I've been in business in Texas. Um, so, you know, take this time to learn about what we do, to get a plan, and again, at the end, if you stay to the end, uh, I'll be sure to get that gift card to you after we do the 15-minute consultation and give us some time to learn more about each other. So, a little bit about me. Uh, I'm a national best-selling author on the subject of safe money retirement planning. I've uh, been in Texas and doing business for 14 years. Our office is right off of Republic Drive in Plano. And uh, I've been featured on many different publications, national best-selling author, of course, like we talked about, and also uh, have been on TV with William Shatner. So I thought a lot of you would find that uh, pretty interesting. So um, let's talk about the reason that we're all here. The reason that we're all here is retiring today looks much different than it used to. I think everybody would agree that the track that we were on and we were in the largest bull market in history, uh, all of a sudden can turn on a dime. And a lot of you honestly weren't prepared for it. Um, and so now going forward, don't let this happen to you again. You can't ignore planning. You can't uh, not have uh, a written plan in place to say, if this happens, this is our battle plan going into the next time that this is gonna occur. Uh, and moreover, how do you keep what you have? How do you keep what you have? And then how do you make new money instead of trying to make your old money back? And that's what a lot of our conversation is going to be uh, today on today's webinar. So we look at uh, retirement as a complete puzzle and you have all these pieces to your retirement and you have to put the puzzle together in a way that makes it complete. We can see the complete picture. And we believe that starts with Social Security. Um, if you think about putting a puzzle, what's the first piece you put together? It's kind of the corner pieces and then the, uh, the border of the puzzle. And we see Social Security as the border of your retirement uh, puzzle. And so we're going to talk about Social Security basics today and how it works. I'm also going to talk to you about something interesting called the 2015 Bipartisan uh, Budget Act and really why timing is so important and why this is really the foundation of your retirement. Uh, or the border in this case, and how this is going to help uh, you get more money in retirement. So real quick, let me talk about a little history with Social Security. This uh, was signed into law by President Roosevelt back in August of 1935. And at that time, uh, it was meant for people turning 65 to give them an income in retirement. Well, at that time also, people had a lot of pensions. You could work for the company for 20 years, retire with the gold watch and the pension and have social security. And that was just a normal thing. Uh, my grandfather had a pension. My grandmother had a pension. And, you know, eventually that kind of faded away, which we'll talk about. But uh, social security was never meant to last 20 or 30 plus years for people. Um, it was really meant for just to supplement uh, people's pensions. And in fact, the first person to get Social Security, her name was Ida Mae Fuller, a uh, really neat lady. Uh, she had only paid into uh, the Social Security program for three years, uh, and she received the first check of $22.54, if you can imagine that. Uh, seems like such a small amount today, but back then, uh, it was great. It was something that she could have and supplement her income. Uh, like we talked about. And what's really uh, interesting is she actually lived uh, to be 100 years old. So you can imagine uh, between 65 and 100, she collected over her lifetime with COLA and all that stuff, $22,888. So only paying into Social Security was a pretty good deal for Ida Mae Fuller, um, as you can see. And so we're going to talk about today um, how it can really affect your retirement if you do it correctly and also the negative way it can affect your retirement if you do it incorrectly. So let's start with when you can file. Um, we all know that there's what's called FRA or full retirement age. Now it depends on your birthday, but it's somewhere between age 66 and 67, you get a hundred percent of your entitlement. Now, what do I mean by that? That means that you're gonna get the full amount of social security that you're entitled to at that age. Now, many of you have thought, well, I'm just gonna elect early. I'm gonna take it early at 62. That's causing you a couple problems if you do that. Uh, one, uh, if you continue to work, your social security check uh, can be taxed pretty heavily doing it that way. And you may not, uh, it may not benefit you uh, at all. But the other thing is you're only gonna get 
of your entitlement. And I say entitlement because you're entitled to this. You've paid into Social Security your entire life. Um, and if you only get 75% of what you should have gotten, uh, it can affect you dramatically. And in fact, I'm going to show you the math and prove this to you here in a second. But there's also what's called bonus credits. Now, this is really neat, and a lot of people don't think of it this way. You just know the longer you wait, the higher it gets. But after full retirement age, every year after that, you start accumulating uh, what's called bonus credits up to 132%. Now, that extra 32% on top of your uh, full entitlement uh, can mean hundreds of thousands of dollars to you. And I really mean hundreds of thousands of dollars. And so you're gonna wanna pay attention to this and take notes because if you do this wrong, literally it could cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars in your retirement. And again, we're gonna show you that in a second. Now, if you go to the bottom left of the screen, you see COLA, that stands for cost of living uh, or cost of living increase uh, or adjustment. Now, what happens is when you start receiving social security, uh, occasionally the government will increase your payment to keep up with cost of living adjustment uh, or COLA. Um, now, you can see since 1975, uh, it was about 3.69%, but then the last several, 20, you know, 20 years or so, it's been only 2.15%. And in fact, in 2020, it was only a 1.6% rate increase. Now, the problem with that is that we know inflation is much more than 1.6%. In fact, uh, depending on what industry you look at, it may be as high as uh, 6%. So it's certainly not keeping up with inflation, uh, but there is that COLA increase. But what happens for a lot of customers that see this, they say, well, I, you know, I got a 1.6% increase. That's great. But what also happens when they give you the cost of living increase? Uh, and at this time, usually we're in the library and people are giving me an answer, uh, but I'll just answer it for you. What's happening is usually they increase the cost of your Medicare. So it's kind of like they're robbing Peter to pay Paul. They give you an increase here and they take it from here. So you're really not getting anything extra, okay? Um, now, we all know that Social Security has um, been going down uh, as far as liquidity over the years um, and a lot of other funds that um, the government has paid into, that we've paid into, are losing liquidity, meaning that uh, there's not enough money to keep it going. Uh, so they made some changes uh, to keep it going. And one of those changes is they've increased uh, the amount of income that your Social Security wage tax is uh, figured on. And it went from 132,900 to 137,700. So if you're a higher income earner, uh, then that means that essentially uh, you're paying more in the Social Security. So that's one way to do it. Uh, they've also, of course, raised the full retirement age from 65 to 66, 67. Uh, and so on. Now, uh, let's talk about what's the maximum amount that you can get on your Social Security benefit. The most that you'll ever get is three thousand eleven dollars uh, right now, today at least. And that means no matter how how hard you work, how much you make, how much you pay in Social Security, that's the maximum benefit that uh, you'll get. Most of you on this call are not at that level. Uh, most of you will probably get somewhere between fifteen hundred and uh, twenty five hundred dollars depending on your income level and if you're married or single or, and so on. So that's just a little bit of social security basics. Now the bipartisan act of 2015, this is kind of one of those things that um, they snuck in in the middle of the night and no one really talks about, but I think it's so important for you to realize uh, how this impacts you and your social security. Now, some of you um, may have heard of the disability fund. This is if you get hurt and you can't work, you can go on to Social Security Disability or SSDI. Um, that's only funded through 2022. Now, when this came out back in 2015, that seemed like that was a long time ago. You're talking about seven years and you're like, man, yeah, that's a long time away. We're not going to worry about it. But that's creeping up on us, isn't it? It really is. And unfortunately for those people, we're going to have to see what's going to happen because uh, we have Social Security, we have Medicare, we have the disability fund. Um, you know, we have food stamps, we have all these entitlement programs that are uh, losing money and uh, we have to figure out what we're going to do to uh, make sure that they stay there for us. Now, there used to be a really cool thing called file and suspend and I've been doing uh, social security planning for 14 years now. I can tell you that we have absolutely helped a ton of people using the strategy, but it was phased out. It's no longer available. Uh, really, I'm not even going to talk about it because it doesn't even matter today. But it's uh, one of those things that the government figured out that people 
had figured out how to get more money on their social security and they took it away. <laughs> so that's basically it. Um, now there's still something called the restricted application. Uh, it doesn't change any survivor benefits uh, or they haven't made changes so far to the survivor benefits, but it's uh, not available if you uh, file for full retirement age after January 1st of this year. So uh, if you reach full retirement age before January 1st of 2020, it's still available. But uh, if you're reaching full retirement age, it doesn't affect you this year. Now, let's talk about why Social Security planning is so important. And I'm going to go through a uh, example of really how this works and the planning and prove to you mathematically why it's so important to get together with uh, Peak Financial and let us help you maximize your Social Security. So I have an example here of Ronald and Nancy. Ronald and Nancy are a happy couple. They just uh, celebrate their anniversary and they're excited and they're, you know, uh, getting to the point where they're talking about uh, retiring. And Ronald is 60, Nancy's a little younger at 58, and they realize that they have a monthly benefit coming to them. They want to travel, they want to have some fun, and that looks like that it, they can go ahead and take their Social Security at age 62. So they talked and they said, you know, we want to have fun. We want to go travel, maybe work a little bit, and we're just going to go ahead and take our money, okay? Not do any other planning other than check the box and start getting a check. Well, over their lifetime, assuming that Ronald lives to 85 and Nancy lives to age 90, um, they've received $1.659 million of their lifetime. And you said that's pretty good. And it is good. And that's what Social Security is meant to do is to give you an income in retirement. But the problem is they could have gotten more. Now, let me show you an example. Let's just say that they did a little bit of planning. They said, you know, let's go ahead and wait for a little bit longer. Uh, let's wait till our full retirement age so we can get 100% of our entitlement. For them, it's 67. And uh, we're going to assume that they live to the same age. Nothing's changed other than they delayed their Social Security. Maybe they were working still. Maybe they took uh, income from other accounts. So they went ahead and retired, but they're taking income from their IRAs and, and delaying their Social Security, for example. That's one strategy that we do. Uh, look how much more they have, $1.944 million. So you can imagine just by doing a little bit more, they went from 1.659 million to 1.944 million. And that's quite a difference. That's a lot of money that people could use. Now, let's just say that they met with us and they said, Jay, we need help with our social security. Uh, we wanna delay it uh, to uh, as long as we can. We wanna get those bonus credits that you talked about, but we don't know exactly how to do it. How do we structure a plan? And that's this is why this is so important because what we did for Ronald and Nancy is we structured a tax efficient and tax free program for them so that they could go ahead and retire when they wanted to, but they could delay their social security so they could get the bonus credits and look how much this meant to them. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that number, $2,126,000. So let me ask you a question. If you're on the webinar today and I was able to help you out and give you an extra $466,000 in retirement, all because we did a little planning, wouldn't that be important to you? Absolutely, it sure would. In fact, what we're gonna do is you're gonna receive a, uh, a, a survey at the end of this and also a way to schedule an appointment. And I encourage you, write this down right now, uh, customized Social Security report. I'm going to do this for you at absolutely no charge. It doesn't cost you anything. There's no obligation to do anything with us. This. this is part of our process. It's so important. So if you would like to put the border of your retirement puzzle together, please write down right now, customized Social Security report at the end of this webinar. Be sure to request that from us and I'll get that out to you right away. Now let's talk about the next piece of your retirement puzzle and that's taxation and retirement you know we're taxed so many ways we're taxed when we make it we're taxed when we spend it uh, we're taxed on property that we own we're taxed on equipment that we own i mean there's just so many ways that they tax us and there's a tax that is looming on you right now it's a tax bomb and it's called a 401k uh, if you've rolled it over maybe you call it an ira Okay, maybe you work for the government or a city organization, call it 457 or 401A. 
ultimately at the end of the day, it's a qualified retirement account that you've never made pay taxes on. Okay. So we're going to talk about that and ways to combat that because I don't know about you, but I've paid enough tax in my lifetime to be rich if I had it all. Okay. And a lot of you are in that same position. And if you do this right, then you can put money in your pocket instead of into Uncle Sam's pocket. So we'll discuss that here in a second. Now let's talk about the national debt levels. And I think that this is probably hitting home right now more than ever. Uh, think about the acts, the CARE Act and all these different things that they're doing. They're giving Americans all this money and they're you know, bailing out everybody. And I don't care what you call it, it's bailout, right? They're trying to keep companies going, which is great, right? They should be doing that. They should be helping America. But what's the problem when you sign trillion dollar bills in Congress, right? It, it, think about today. Could you imagine having a billion dollars? And maybe some of you are a billion, billionaire on here, but that's a lot of money. It would take you a long time to spend a billion dollars. Can you imagine a trillion dollar deficit? It, it's, it's mind boggling how much money the government is just printing literally out of thin air let's, oh let's print another five trillion let's print two trillion over here let's do this let's do that our national debt level is out of control okay so what does that really mean for you well that really means that tax rates really there has to be a change here and let me talk to you about the the history of tax rates so we can kind of get on the same page real quick before we talk about that because back in the 40s and 50s the highest tax rate that you could be at was between 80 and 90 percent. Could you imagine paying 80 to 90 percent of the income that you make in taxes today? Well, it happened. It has happened. This is uh, the record from uh, what's happened historically here in the United States. And right now, if you look at the far right of the graph, you can see that tax rates are fairly low. In fact, they're about half of what they were back in the late 40s, 50s and going into the 60s. OK. So what does that mean? That means that taxes are on sale, okay? Now, what do you do when something's on sale? You buy it, it's cheaper, right? So if taxes are on sale and you've got all this money in your retirement account, what do you think you should do? Let's talk about that. Let's, let's explore that a little bit more. Well, first of all, your qualified account. Well, the problem is that there's, 5.7 trillion dollars there's that t word again trillion dollars in employer sponsored 401k plans now a lot of people don't have uh pensions anymore it's moved to the 401k because it's cheaper for companies is really the bottom line for it but you're left to do it alone maybe you get a login to xyz company and you go in and you you know type in some answers and it tells you you're a moderate risk or a high risk and you just go with some mutual funds and you don't really know what that means and you don't understand what kind of fees you're paying but you just do it or maybe somebody gets on the phone with you and they sell you a particular plan or um you know say you need to be diversified and all these words uh, and things that you just say okay i'm just going to put it away and you forget about it and you don't think about that you may be have limited investment options you don't talk about or think about safe options inside of it. The only safe option they generally have is maybe T-bills or cash, right? Um, and then there's little to no, no consultation. And unfortunately, um, you are the one responsible for your 401k. No one in your employer or the person responsible for the 401k is going to help you with this uh, to an adequate level that you should have. And so that's why a lot of people right now on this webinar are sitting there saying, oh my gosh, uh, I literally lost a bunch of money in my 401k. What am I going to do? And some of you have time to make it up. Some of you are young. I'm 35. I've got time to make it up. Of course, I didn't lose anything in my accounts. But for some of you, it, it's okay. You've got time to make it up. But if you're getting older and you're 50, 60 years old, you don't, you don't have time to make it up. And I'm going to show you that here in a second. Now, there's something interesting that came out uh, called the SECURE Act of 2020. Some of you may have heard about this, but I want to discuss this real quick because they increased the RMD age from 70 and a half to 72. Now, RMD stands for Required Minimum Distribution or Mandatory dis Distribution. And what that is, is that's a forced taxation on your qualified plan. So we talked about that. You have this tax bomb looming, right? 
you've never paid taxes on your 401k, you've saved all this money at a time when you had maybe kids, you had a mortgage write off, maybe you had a business, you had some deductions, right? But you decided to delay your tax. Now you're getting to age 65, 67, 70, and you're starting to realize that the kids are moved out, the house is paid off, you've sold your business, and besides your standard deduction in retirement, what do you have? Seriously ask you that question, yourself that question. And here you are at 72, at least they've stretched out a little bit more, but at 72, you're forced to take out tax. Okay, and I'll talk about that in just a second what those numbers are. They've also eliminated the stretch IRA. Now, what does that mean? Well, if I passed away, my wife would get the money that's in my IRA tax free, it just passes right to her. She has to pay tax on the distributions, but there's no tax on the transfer. Okay, now let's just assume that both of us passed away and it passed to our kid or our kids. Well, that's called a non spousal beneficiary. When that happens, uh, unfortunately, now they're going to be taxed at regular income and we can't stretch that out anymore. So, you used to, we could take payments off that for five or 10 years and limit the taxation. But unfortunately, it's not going to happen like that. So let's also talk about the contribution limit for IRA um, IRAs. That has been removed. So you can still contribute to IRAs uh, even into retirement. If it's not a Roth, I don't know why you would do that, but for a regular IRA, you can. Now, uh, they also increased uh, automatic 401k enrollment uh, from 10% to 15%. And here's the interesting thing. Uh, they are now encouraging the use of annuities or safe money retirement planning in qualified employer plans. Isn't that interesting? Uh, that now finally they're offering uh, some type of safe money uh, in those type of plans. Now, let's talk a little bit more about uh, the required minimum distributions and RMDs. Well, now you can start taking at six or 72 instead of 70 and a half, which helps you out, especially in a Roth conversion that I'm gonna talk about in a second. We've got a few more years to do it. So that's a, actually a really good thing. Now, when you don't need income, RMDs become a tax problem. Let me say that a different way. Let's say we're sitting down talking and you have this just in case money over here. You have this IRA, it's a couple hundred thousand dollars. You don't need it. Maybe you've done some income planning. Maybe you do have a pension. Uh, you got a 401k and you're going to take income from this and your social security, you're fine, but that's your just in case money and you don't want to touch it. It's for the kids maybe. Okay. Or just in case something really bad happens. Well, here's the problem. You're going to be forced to take out money out of your qualified accounts at 72, no matter what. And if you don't, ladies and gentlemen, there's a 50% tax penalty, 50%, okay? So you're gonna take it or you're gonna lose 50%. That's uh, of what you were, we're supposed to take out. That's the bottom line. Now, really we can develop a income plan and forecast out what the RMDs are gonna be, but I'm gonna give you some examples here. At 72, you're gonna have to take out 3.91% or $3,900 for every $100,000 that you have. You have to take it out, you have to pay tax. Think about it, Uncle Sam, set you up with a nice plan said hey defer your taxes no don't worry about it uh do it while you have deductions and now here you are 72 little to no deductions uh and i'm going to force you to take it out now does that plan sound better for you or for uncle sam well obviously uncle sam right in fact at age 80 he's going to make you take out 5.35 percent and if you are lucky enough to live to age 90 they're going to make sure that you spend all your money and pay tax on it because now you're at 8.77 percent ladies and gentlemen gets really really expensive okay so let me ask you a question if we were at the library right now <clears throat> we'd all be sitting around talking and laughing and i would ask you this question do you think that tax rates are going to be higher or lower in the future and right now just write it down your paper higher or lower what you think um and think about this we talked about social security going broke we talked about uh the um a disability act going broke and all these entitlements and things and trillion dollar uh, in, uh, money going out of the Senate uh, for the CARE Act and all these other things, all these entitlements that we're getting. Every American is going to get a check, right? Well, who's going to pay for that? You and me. 
taxpayers. So if we're at an all-time low with our taxes, taxes are on sale right now. Do you believe that taxes are still going to be on sale after we go through all this and we're even more trillions of dollars in debt? I don't think so. I think that they're going to go higher. So what are your options? Well, the first option is you can do the ostrich plan, stick your hand, head in the sand and say, you know what? I'm just going to not worry about it. I'm going to pay whatever tax that Uncle Sam tells me to pay and uh, I'm just going to do what I'm supposed to do. OK, uh, that's a horrible plan, by the way. But if, if that's you, maybe that you ought to consider doing that. OK, uh, we're probably not the right fit for you if, if you're number one. Uh, if you want to change something, you could pay the taxes now. OK, because, you know, the rate at what it is now, you can start contributing to a Roth IRA, for example, instead of an IRA. Go ahead and start accumulating tax free income uh, so you don't have all these RMD problems and everything that's going to happen. Uh, or the best option is you can meet with us. Sit down with me uh, virtually, of course. <laughs> let's talk about it. let's develop a plan for you, for your family to make sure that you can not only contribute to a Roth, but you can convert your taxable dollars, that's Uncle Sam's plan, to your plan, which is tax-free and or tax-efficient money. Wouldn't you agree today that tax-free and tax-efficient money is the best plan for you? If you're a number three, right, I'm a number three. And when you respond back to the survey, say, I'm a number three, Jay, I need your help. Take advantage of living benefits with a little known tax code, 7702. If you don't know what that is, write that down, 7702. I'm going to go over a little bit more here in a second, but be sure that you write that down because that is a very important tax code for you that you can use. And that's why you meet with us. That's why we do the planning. And uh, that's what's going to help you catapult you into retirement and have your retirement plan, not Uncle Sam's retirement plan. So let's talk about converting to a Roth IRA. Now, some of you may say, well, I can't have an IRA because my income's too high. Well, that may be true, may not be true, but did you know that you can convert a, a qualified account such as an IRA to a Roth IRA and it doesn't matter what your income level is? Did you hear that? It doesn't matter what your income level is, okay? This is gonna provide you a hedge against future tax rate conversions. And I know this is a major concern for you. If it's not, it should be. And I hope that I've proven that to you so far. If you pay taxes at today's rate, it's gonna make the difference, all the difference in your income in retirement, okay? Now you're not gonna have any income tax due on future earnings and withdrawals. It doesn't affect the RMD. There is no RMD on it. Uh, and by the way, it does not count toward the tax on your social security benefits, okay? Do you remember Ronald and Nancy? Do you remember me saying we did some planning? Well, hey, one good way to do that is to take your IRA, convert that to a Roth IRA, take that as income. You can go ahead and retire, doesn't affect your social security check. Guess what? It happens, we can do it every day and I would love to do it for you. Now, let's talk about that living benefit plan 7702. This is so critical. This is something that most financial advisors that you talk to aren't even aware of. Uh, I've specialized in this tax code for the last 14 years, and here's what it is. Your contributions that you make now are tax deferred. Your gains are locked in annually. That means you never go backwards. You're always making new money and not having to make your old money back like most of you are going to have to do right now. In fact, you have 100% principal protection for the life of the contract. And by the way, it includes critical and long-term care benefits. That is a huge deal because if you're not preparing for critical illness and long-term care, you're, it could bite you, it could totally decimate your retirement account. This is one of those hedges that you have to have on your retirement and we can do it all in one plan. In fact, this plan provides you tax-free income in retirement, there's no IRS age restriction and no contribution limits. Isn't that cool? Write that down, 7702. Say, Jay, I'm in, I'm a three, I'm a 7702. Teach me how to do it. We'll get it going for you. So if you would like your tax efficient and or tax fee plan, be sure you request that at the end of the webinar and we'll, we'll get that plan out to you and walk you step by step to make sure that it's the right plan for you and your family.
Now, let's talk about what's happening right now with the bear market, but also a little bit of history so you can kind of see how all this is fitting together. Well, first of all, a lot of you have lost an average of 30% over the last 30 days. And I know it's up and down and we have a loss and we have some gains, we have some losses, and some gains. Let me ask you, if we're spending trillions of dollars, companies are not doing business, we're not importing or exporting anything, uh, nobody's working, where do you think the market's gonna continue to go? Do you, do you think that we're gonna be on a bull run anytime soon, right? It's time to protect your principles, it's time to protect what you have, keep what you got, and start locking in what you have annually and quit losing money, okay? In fact, if you had $100,000 today, you're all the way down to $69,000. If you had a million dollars before all this happened, you've lost 31% of your wealth down to $690,000. It's time to stop the bleeding. In fact, let's talk a little bit about recovery times. If you look here since 1929, there's been 25 bear markets. And by the way, we define a bear market as a 20% loss. Um, and they actually happen about every three to four years. We've actually went a long time uh, in this last run. Um, but you can see here compared to others, but you can see here some different dates and, and different bull runs and what they've averaged. But look at those times because they are generally one year, um, you know, maybe two years apart. And you know, we dropped 30% in like two or three months, right? So think about that. What used to take two years to go through a bear market, we did practically overnight, right? So it's more important than ever to protect what you have because you don't have time to get out. You don't have time to say, oh my gosh, I'm gonna see what happens and ride this thing out because tomorrow you wake up and you've lost another 10%. I know it doesn't feel good, but if you do the right planning and you do it with us, you won't ever have to worry about that again because our clients haven't lost anything. Now let's talk about what's going to take to get you back even. If you've lost 10%, and some of you out there have, some of you are more conservative and you only lost 10%, I think that's great. Well, if you're conservative and you only lost 10%, you're probably uh, getting a smaller return. Let's say you're getting 3%. It's gonna take you 3.6 years to make that money back. In fact, if you double that and we're getting a 6% return, you had a really safe portfolio, it's still gonna take you almost two years. Now, let's just say that you lost 30%. We gave that example a while ago. Well, if you lost 30%, you may have been more of a moderate risk. So you, it's gonna take you another six years, maybe four and a half years to make that money back. But if you've lost 50%, even at an 8% return, it's gonna take you nine years. There are so many people on this webinar right now who were ready to retire and can't because you just don't have time. For those of you who are on the, the call right now or the webinar and you've got a little bit of time to make this up, now's the time to make a change. If you're getting ready to retire, I can show you how to make some of your old money back instantly overnight to help you get back there to speed up this so it's not gonna take you nine years to make your money back, okay? So get with us and we'll talk about how that works. Now, let's talk a little bit more about uh, what this really means as far as your portfolio and uh, what you need to make as an example, okay? Let's just say that you had 200,000, you've invested well over the years and you rode the bull market up uh, and let's just say you made 50% on your money over the last several years. You had $300,000. Well, let's just say that you lost 50% of your portfolio. Now you're down to $150,000. Not only did you lose the $100,000 that you made, you also lost $50,000 of your own money. Well, let's just say that the market goes back up and goes back up fast and you were able to make 30% on that $150,000. You still have $195,000. You see, this is what's called a average rate of return. When you talk to a financial advisor and they say, well, I've averaged 10% average rate of return over the last 10 years, okay? Well, what does that really mean, okay? I just showed you here, this is a 10% average rate of return. You see, what's, not, what's important is not the average rate of return, what's important is your yield. What do you get to keep? What did you really make? 
okay? If I gave you $5 and took back $4, what did you really make, $5 or a dollar? You made a dollar, okay? Don't be fooled and think that you're doing an average rate of return and you got the whole $5 because you did it, okay? Very important to think about. Now, I'm gonna give you an example of two brothers retiring. And these two brothers uh, have worked their whole life and they're getting ready to retire, but one of them retired at the wrong time and one of them retired at the right time. So maybe the first brother retired last month, okay? And let's look at this. So first of all, you can see here that both of them are starting with a million dollar account. We're going over 18 years and both of them are just shy of a very conservative annual return of 4.96%. Now, brother number one on the left really got hit hard. He had a million dollars, he retired, and he's taking income out, um, and all of a sudden, uh, his account, after just three years, uh, has lost quite a bit, right? He went from a million in all the way down to year four, $452,000. That is a lot. A lot, lot, it's like a 65% loss, okay? Um, but he's gonna stay retired, continues to stay retired, and look at what happens, and you're 15, he's out of money. How many people do you know that have to go back to work, that are working at the local stores that are 65 and 70? Do you think that potentially this could have happened to them? Absolutely. The key is, don't let it happen to you. Now let's talk about brother number two. These are the same earnings, the same rates of return. We just had brother number two uh, have a good first couple of years, right? And he didn't have losses till later on in his portfolio. Well, he had plenty of time to make money on top of his money before he had a loss. And so at 18 years, he still has $940,000 opposed to in 15 years, brother one was broke. Now, what's the difference between these two? They both retire with the same amount of money. They both are retiring for the same amount of years. Brother one is broke, okay? Brother number two is still retired. What's well, called sequence of returns. You see, we don't know what the market's gonna do tomorrow. We don't know what it's gonna do next year, five years from now, 10 years from now. So it's so important to have a plan that guarantees your retirement that no matter what happens, even if you were to retire, two months ago, you're still retired, you're still getting guaranteed income, you have your own personal pension plan, write that down, PPP, personal pension plan. And brother number two, he was smart, he had uh, some personal pension plans, and even though maybe he took a loss in some of his accounts, he's still retired, so important. Now, let's talk a little bit more about uh, where we're going with this. It's called a retirement income plan. This is the written plan that we talked about that you need. It doesn't exist if it's not in writing. Have you heard that before? Well, if you've heard that before, then why isn't your retirement account in writing? Okay, write that down that you want your free retirement income plan and you wanna talk about the PPP plan, personal pension plan, and we will get that going for you again no cost, social security report, no cost, retirement income plan, no cost. We're gonna do all this for you complimentary just for being on the webinar today. Now let's talk about some problems with retiring today. One of those is longevity, we're living longer. See when Ida Mae Fuller retired at 65, she lived to 100, but that was the exception. Most people are living longer today than they used to. There's fewer defined benefit plans or pensions out there. Healthcare is simply amazing. They can cure you of so many diseases and see inside your body and all these things to make sure that you're taken care of and you're healthy and you're living longer. Uh, we know more about nutrition than we ever had before, but it's expensive. And no one hardly ever thinks about, I need a written plan. I need to have a plan and know when 2020 comes and I lose 30, 40, 50% of my income, that I had a plan in place and I didn't lose anything because I had a plan. We just implemented the plan, right? If you didn't have a plan, now's the time to put together because who knows what's gonna happen next. 
So let's talk about the longevity risk. Did you know that over 450,000 people in the world today, over 100, isn't that crazy? Within 36 years, there'll be 4.2 million people of the age of 100. Why? Because of technology, okay? But this creates risks of running out of money. See, when Social Security was developed, we talked about that. They, people were living to 70, 75. If you lived to 80, you were a really old person. But now, 70s, the new 30, right? People are living forever now, which creates longevity risk. That means if you retire and you're uh, retiring at 70, for example, let's say that you waited a long time and you lived to 100. Do you realize that that's 30 years in retirement? You have to have a plan now to guarantee your income for the next 30 years because I promise you at 90, you're not going to be wanting to work if you can't even work. You have to have a plan now. So we have less defined benefit plans and more defined contribution plans. You see, we talked about this, that companies have these pension plans, right? You come and you work for the company for 30 years, you retire with the gold watch and the pension. But those are going away. Why? Because companies figured out that they can get you in a 401k with all these moving parts and mutual funds and stocks and everything else and put you in this thing and you know we're going to give you a match we're going to give you five percent we're going to match up to you know three percent of what you make and they figured that that's cheaper than paying people a pension out for 30 years obviously it's way cheaper in fact a lot of pension plans are going broke or have already gone broke there's no more money in them so now here you are You've got somebody on the phone with you or you've got some website that you're on trying to figure out what mutual funds to buy. Do you think that that's a good way to choose? You've got to have a plan in place. You've got to have a guaranteed income plan. In fact, you can create, remember that PPP? You can create your own personal pension plan. Don't let the government and plans and everything tax you the way that they're planning on taxing you. Don't lose 30, 40% of your portfolio again. Protect it now with your own personal pension plan. Now, let's talk about rising healthcare costs. Our population is growing like crazy. We have people, hundreds of thousands of people every day, millions of people turning 65. Really, you think about what's happening now. People are using more healthcare services. There's more spe specialization. There's more machines and systems that do things that we don't even understand, but it works because we're living longer. But 75% or 70% of people over 65 are gonna retire and need some kind of long-term care. I mean, I'm 35, my back hurts today. I can't imagine at age 70, right? Think about that. Do you have a plan in place for long-term care? And I know what you're saying. I understand, well, Jay, it's expensive. It doesn't have to be. Remember the 7702 plan? Yep, that's right. It includes your long-term care. You have to have a plan in place. Let me give you an example. And this may not be you, but this was my family. My grandparents lived on a ranch. My grandfather lived in 92. My grandmother, 96. They never, ever, ever wanted to go to a nursing home or assisted living facility. Their dream was to live at the ranch and die at the ranch. Is that your dream? Maybe it is, maybe it's not. But here's the deal, that's expensive. And guess what? By the time I got into business 14 years ago, they were too old to qualify for long-term care. They couldn't do it. The application was six inches thick. There's no way to get it. It was too late, but it's not too late for you. You see, they didn't have a plan in place. So how did we pay for it? They lived out their dream. But we sold cows, we sold hay. We did what we had to do to keep them in their own world. But some of you don't have that option. It's so important more now than ever to have a long-term care plan in place. And if we can get you tax-free income, we can cover your long-term care, make sure that you don't have to pay that pesky RMD, Uncle Sam's plan with the 7702 code, man, that's a winter chicken dinner, folks. That's what you need to have. Did you know that the average nursing home stay is 835 days? Do you think that you have the money now to pay for it? You might, but guess what? You're gonna have a lot less after you get out of there. You have to have a plan in place. So what can you expect from Peak Financial? What can you expect from me and how does all this work? Well, the first thing is this 
overview that we just did is a, at a very high level. Uh, it has to be because everybody's plan is unique. Your plan is different than my plan. Maybe you want to go to a assisted living facility. I have clients that want to do that because they're single. They want to have be belong to a community, but they want to belong to like a really nice one. Well, guess what? They're expensive. Okay, you have to have a plan in place to do that, and we can do that for you if that's your plan. And I promise you, I'm always going to put your best interest for first. Always, I will always make sure that your plan is in place, and when something happens, you're ready to go. You know what action to take. Your family knows what action to take. Your attorney knows what action to take. You're going to be ready to go. And I'm going to educate you. I'm hoping that a lot of you learned on this webinar today a lot of different things that maybe you didn't know before. And guess what? This is just the beginning. Your education is so important because no one's going to educate you but you. And I want to help you down that road. I want to walk you. I want to be your Sherpa. I want to go through this retirement platform with you, help you understand it. And that way, there's no question in your mind that you're going to be able to retire successfully. And guess what? We're going to write it down. Folks, we're going to write it down. You're going to have a written retirement income plan. And remember me saying this, all this stuff we do complimentary for you at no cost to you. Why wouldn't you take advantage of this? And we're going to give you a annual review. We're going to go through every year and make sure that your plan is the right plan. If there's changes in your life, which there's always changes in your life, we will review and adapt to those changes. So what do you do now? Well, first, we're going to end the webinar here in a little bit, and you're going to get a survey, and you're also going to get an email to be able to schedule a 15-minute consultation. I'm going to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to find out about you. You're going to find out about me, and we're going to see if we're a good fit. The next step is we're going to create your free Social Security reports customized for you. If you're married, you're widowed, you're divorced, we'll plug all that information into our software, and I'm going to give that to you. The next step is we're going to talk about your retirement income plan and how to create a tax-free and tax-efficient plan. It's so important. And we're going to do that, again, at no cost. So to schedule your complimentary review, be sure that you fill out the survey at the end. Be sure that you respond to that email. And again, for everybody that's on this webinar, remember, if you schedule the consultation, it's okay to say no to me. It's okay to say, Jay, I'm not interested. We're still going to send you the $25 gift card because I want you to pay it forward. I want you to be in our community, pay that forward to local businesses, and help out everybody. Again, my name's Jay Peak. Thank you so much for being on this webinar, and I look forward to speaking with you soon.